Do you see how flat that is and how it looks like it's growing out of my scalp? She a little ashy, but girl's better than I thought it was gonna be. For another video and guess what it is wine and wigs Wednesday clink 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 mmm today we have a video that's really really simple and it's just about laying your wigs flat so they look like they're coming right out of your scalp honey baby hairs and all a really really simple tutorial for the girls that have never done it before and I ain't never done this before this is my first time and I'm actually proud of myself but before we go ahead and get into it I'm gonna go ahead and need y'all to subscribe and hit that post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post. The girls be on Instagram acting like, oh, it's just so easy to apply a wig. It's not, but there are some easy steps to make it look like you knew what you were doing even if you don't. We are featuring products from the brand ZLA. These are the products that started me off on my journey to getting this wig flat. If you go to ZLA.com, and click on the wig care option, you're able to see that the Define and Contour Hairline Master, basically a wax stick, and the Instant Flattener Flattening Souffle is featured on their website and you're able to purchase it as a duo or separately. They're perfect for flattening your wigs. They got my wig looking super professional. And it is perfect for beginners and super easy to use. I want to thank ZLA for sponsoring the wig application part of this video. In the meantime, in between time, we're gonna get into applying this wig. We're gonna go from the Ruta to the Tuta. I'll leave all the products that I use down below. So if y'all wanna see how I got this flat wig installed, please keep on watching and I'll be back. So we're starting off with a freshly washed wig and I didn't really put anything on it. I just brushed it backwards and now I'm gonna take my hot comb. I think this is an Andis hot comb. This isn't the best hot comb you can get, girl, but it's a good one, and I'll leave a link for it down below. But I'm just combing, back combing the hair, combing it backwards just to get all of those tiny little hairs going in that direction because that's what makes it look the most flat. I'm going to add some of the ZLA Flattening Souffle onto the hair just to start to lay the hair super duper flat. Now this foam is really, really smooth and fluffy, but my favorite thing about this foam is that it doesn't leave a residue. So once you brush out the hair, you don't get a sticky residue. It just keeps the hair straight and it forms it without giving it like a really, really sticky feeling to the hair, which is something that you need on straight hair. So I'm just gonna brush that hair back and pull back any sort of tiny little hairs and I'm also gonna find my part and prep the hair for the part as well. I'm being pretty generous with the foam. I don't think it's necessary to put this much on the hair, especially if the hair is wet. But if your hair is dry, I think I had to use a little bit more foam to mold it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this um, white paper. I don't even know what this is called. Like it's the wrapping paper. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and place it on the hair and just let it sit and we're going to go ahead and let that dry. I'm going to use a um, hair dryer from Stella Salon. I got this from my local beauty supply store, but um, it dries the hair pretty quick or you can let it sit and air dry. So I just let it dry for, I think it was about 30 minutes under the dryer because I applied so much, but look how flat it is. That is extremely flat and ready to lay. Okay, y'all, we're gonna get started on applying this very, very flat wig look. I'm going to go ahead and start with a basic step, which is moving all these little teeny tiny little baby hairs out the way. I'm gonna use this got to be glue gel. I'm going to take some of the gel and put it on this little toothbrush, and we're just gonna brush it back, all of it. And I have a whole bunch of tiny little hairs, but we just need to get them out of the way even these ones right here. And next, I'm going to add our wig cap. You know what I'm not into? The uh, ball cap method. I just don't have the patience. I've told y'all that many, many times before. Like I've seen other girls do it and it looks amazing, but I'm not interested, so. 
I'm way too lazy for that. This is my favorite wig grip. Amazing. This is a GEX Worldwide wig grip. Let me go ahead and toss it on. Let's toss it on. Okay, so I put my wig grip on really, really tight, and I let it sit at the front of my head. I'm going to go ahead and use this wig cap, pop it on, and this is the perfect base for me to apply a flat wig. Now, this is not going to be as flat as the ball cap method, but girl, I'm okay with that. This is for the lazy girls. Now let's add the wig. Ooh, look at her. So I'm gonna add the wig and figure out where I want to place it. This wig just so happened to be the perfect wig because it matches my skin tone. This lace is definitely my skin tone. That looks good to me. Now I'm gonna tell y'all right now, this spray has been my favorite. Now it doesn't have as much long hold as it got to be glued gel in the yellow bottle. That's okay for me because I'm not wearing my wig for more than a day. But I do love that it's easy to take off and it's easy to apply. It is not as messy as the got to be glue gel. Less mess, less stress. I need a towel. Oh my God. I don't know how the girls don't be having like messy wig applications because mine be all over the place. I feel like somebody lying. Now I have spray all up in my damn ears. Oh my God. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry a little bit, rub it around. Now this stuff dries really fast, so you have to be careful. So let's pull the wig forward to where we like it to be. Applying a wig is so much easier when the hairs are not all up in the way. Okay, we're gonna fold this in half and lay down these edges. Ugh. So we're gonna wait 10 minutes and let that actually mold down and then we're gonna lay down the baby hairs. I think this should be dry, or at least I hope so. Let's go ahead and take it off. She's melted down, honey, down. Okay, so my only issue when I do a meltdown is that I get those little, that little bit of gel residue and I hate it. You can see like there's teeny tiny little hairs. So I'll take my comb and just pull them, pull them out. Use a wet towel and remove the rest. But try not to touch your lace because girl, remove all of these. Oh, that hurt. I'm literally tugging them out. Do you see how flat that is and how it looks like it's growing out of my scalp? She a little ashy, but girl's better than I thought it was gonna be. So for our next step, I'm gonna go ahead and brush out this area and then start to style it using the wax sticks. See how it, it softens and brushes right out? It's so amazing. Next, we're gonna take our rat tooth comb and I'm gonna part it where I like it to be. I think I do want to do an actual middle part. For our next step, we're going to need our hot comb and our wax stick. So I'm gonna turn on my hot comb. I use the Andis hot comb. I think this was like 20 bucks. I think I got it from Walmart, but they also have it available on Amazon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn her on, honey. You see all these flyaways? I'm gonna take my wax stick and start to lay these down. So. We're using the ZLA Define and Contour Hairline Master Wax Stick to lay it down. See how I magically just laid everything down? All the flyaways are gone. Yes, ma'am. And this is where the flatation comes into play. Look at how flat that is. It looks like it's coming right out the scalp, sis. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah, ma'am. Ready? So it's all the way hot. Be careful. Make sure you lay down this little lever because it'll get you in trouble. And I'm just going to... Please don't do this with your natural hair because you'll be burning your hair off. This is called deep frying. Where's the phone? 
Yeah, I'm filming right now. Mm. I'm filming right now. Yeah. Why are you going to the store? Yeah, smoking. Or I finished one thing. So. Looks good. <laughs> Can I? So now you see that the wig is on flat, flat. Okay, I got a little crinkle right here, but girl, I'm not a professional, so it ain't gonna be perfect, but it is flat and laid. I'm going to do some baby hairs. I learned my little baby hair game from Aaliyah. Aaliyah, what's her name? Aaliyah's face. I love her baby hair, so I'm gonna do mine like hers. So let me go ahead and cut. I'm gonna use this little razor thing here. You can also use scissors, and I'm going to just lay these down. Sorry y'all, my battery died. Okay, let's go ahead and do the other side with the baby hair. So, we're gonna take... What is, what type of day is this? Okay. Right here. The baby hairs are done. I'm going to use a headband and lay all these baby hairs down. In the meantime, I'm probably gonna eat some chips because the bitch is hungry. In the meantime, we're gonna do our hair. How about that? So the hair is completely curled. I don't think this hair holds a curl very well, but that don't matter because this is about how flat this wig is. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this off and see what we get. This is what it looks like in the front. Yeah, look how flat and natural this looks. Okay, y'all, so this is our final look. Obviously, there is a line of demarcation. The skin tone is completely wrong, but the wig is laid. But the goal was to get a really, really flat wig installation, and that's what we got today. And it was super, super simple. So hopefully it helped you a lot. Hopefully you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. If you do try this routine, please let me know, girl, because I did that. Oh, since we're playing our little game, tell me how many times did you sit down in the comments down below. Anyway, I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. And while you're at it, just go ahead and watch another video. I have a whole bunch of interesting videos on my channel that some of y'all ain't even seen yet. Go ahead and click one of these videos.